What's going on everybody? Jonathan here, exercise specialist here at the Burke Fitness Center, here to share with you a very brief safety message. Now, before engaging in any sort of exercise activity, make sure that you follow up with your doctor to ensure that exercise is appropriate for you. Now, when working out at home, it's important that you heed to certain safety guidelines. That being, have an adequate amount of space around you. Make sure that you're working out on a firm and stable surface, that being hardwood or tiled floor. Try to avoid working out on a rug as this can bunch up and lead to slipping or tripping. To that same effect, wear sneakers and try to avoid socks, sandals, or flip-flops. Have the right equipment around you as well. Have a water bottle close by. Have a chair close by. A chair can be used as an added base of support or if you need to take a seat during that exercise. Also, dumbbells aren't always required, but if you want some sort of replacement to it, you can use cans of soup, a water bottle, a container of oil, or even a heavy booklet of some sort. Now, most importantly, listen to your body. If you experience any of the following symptoms, shortness of breath, dizziness, or rapid heartbeat, stop the workout, reassess and determine whether or not it is safe to continue with the exercise but above all err on the side of caution with that being said enjoy your workout okay so today what we're going to do is an exercise class called strength and balance and just like the name suggests it's a little bit of strength and it's a little bit of balance today all you're going to need is a pair of dumbbells if you don't have dumbbells that's perfectly fine. Any sort of replacement will do as well, such as cans of soup, water bottles, a container of oil, or a heavy booklet of some sort. Also have a chair nearby. Without further ado, let's get started. The first exercise we're gonna do is a warm up, and those are shoulder circles. You're gonna spread your arms to the side, keep the palms down, and we're going to make small circles. You're going to bring your attention to your breathing. You're going to stand up nice and tall. And we're just easing into the workout. This should be nice and easy. We're going to gradually open that circle up and get a little bit of range of motion in the shoulders. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to flip our hands over and we're going to go backwards. Same thing, start with small circles. Bring your attention to your breathing. Stand up nice and tall. And then we're going to gradually open those circles up. Good. Now that the shoulders are nice and warmed up, we're gonna stretch out the chest. We're gonna start with our hands in front of us and we are going to open up like so. And bring it back in and open up. Spread the arms nice and wide and get as far back as possible. Keep those hands high. The shoulders are a little tired. You could always bring the hands a little lower. Do the same thing. Let's get one more in there. Good. Now that the upper body is nice and warmed up, let's get to the lower body. With one hand on your chair, you're going to grab the opposite leg and squeeze that knee into your body just like so. This is also a warm up that you can do seated. If standing is too much of a challenge, you can do this exercise seated. Same principle, just bring that knee into your chest like so. Good, and let's do that one more. And if you'd like to challenge your balance, if you feel stable enough, you can put both hands on the knee and grab the knee a little tighter into the chest. Good. And we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to move my chair to the other side of me. One hand on the chair, one hand on the opposite knee. We're going to bring that knee nice and close to our bodies. Good. Again, bring your attention to your breathing. Stand up nice and tall. Good. 
And then we're going to do that again. Like I said before, if you feel stable enough, you can put your other hand on the knee and bring that knee closer into your body. If you feel stable enough, if your surroundings are also safe to do so, we don't want to trip and fall or fall onto an object either. Okay, very good. Okay, so that was the warm up. Now we're going to get into the exercise portion of the class. Now, the way it's set up today is we're going to do three different rounds. In each round are three separate exercises, and we're going to do those exercises twice, okay? At the end of the three rounds, we're going to do some abs, we're going to finish off with some stretches, and we're going to call it a day from there. So, to start off, you're going to grab your dumbbells or your weights. I have here some moderately challenging weights, but whatever is adequate for you. You're going to spread your palms to the side, and we're going to start off with arm curls. So you're going to bring it up and bring it down. Bring it up and bring it down. Always remember to bring your attention to your breathing. Keep the shoulders back. Think nice and tall posture. That's five. We're going to do five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. We're going to get into the next exercise, which is a squat. So you can do this from a chair or you can do this standing. You can also have the option of holding a dumbbell in your hand or no weight at all, whatever is comfortable for you. So I'm going to show you with the dumbbell nice and close to my body. What we're going to do is we're going to sit down and we're going to come up. We're going to sit down and come up. So my hips are shooting back while my heels are on the ground. I'm getting nice and low and I'm coming back up. That's five. You want to make sure that you don't feel any pain in the knees or too much pressure in the knees. This should feel nice and natural. We're going to do two more. Nine. And last one. Ten. Okay, so those are our squats. Now, dumbbell still in hand. We're going to hold it in front of you. And all we're going to do is rotate from one side and rotate to the other side. Rotate from one side and go to the other side. That is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mind you, I'm just rotating from my waist. Nine, and last one, 10. That's round one, we're gonna do we're going to go back to the beginning of that, start with the arm curls, so grab both dumbbells again, and what we're going to do is the same thing. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember to breathe throughout the entire exercise. Eight, nine, and last one, 10. We're going to get into the squats. So same thing like I said before, this can be done from a chair. You sit down in the chair and you stand up from the chair. This can also be done with or without weight. So just like before, you're going to take a seat and you're going to stand up, sit down, and stand up. Keeping the weight nice and close to you at all times. Good, that is six. We're going to get to 10, seven, 
eight, nine, and last one, 10. Dumbbells still in hand, what we're going to do are called trunk rotations, and this is the last exercise in this round. You're going to rotate from one side to the other. Two, three, four, five. Notice how I'm not going too far. I'm just going as far as my hips allow me. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. That was round one. We're going to get into the second round, but I want you to give yourself a bit of a rest. Grab some water, catch your breath, and then what we're going to do is take a seat in our chair. Feel free to pause the video whenever you'd like to pace yourself and to ensure that you are not overworking yourself. So the first exercise we're gonna do is called a shoulder press. So we're gonna grab both dumbbells in hand and we're going to shoot up to the ceiling, just like so. Bring it down and bring it up to same thing up quick but down slow good four five six also weight is optional throughout this entire exercise class nine ten good those were shoulder presses. Now we're going to do something called sword pulls. So you're going to take one hand, you're going to cross it to your hip and the opposite hip. And you're going to take the sword out and bring it up to the ceiling. Down and up, good, two. Again, remember to focus on your breathing. Sit up nice and tall. Think tall posture. Good. This is six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. That's definitely a burner for the shoulder. Now what we're gonna do is grab both dumbbells. We're going to get to the edge of the chair. We are going to sit over, face the floor, bring both dumbbells to the sides, and we are going to row in just like that. Okay, just like so. What you want to do is think about squeezing the shoulder blades in the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. Slow and controlled. Good. This is six, seven. Remember, bring your attention to your breathing. Eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Those were called bent over rows. Now we're going to return to the beginning of this round with shoulder presses. So. Both dumbbells or weights at your shoulders, and what we're going to do is shoot up to the ceiling. Breathe out on the way up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and last one, 10. Very good, so those are shoulder presses. We're going to drop one dumbbell to the ground. We did the right shoulder before, now we're gonna do the opposite shoulder. We are going to cross our body with the dumbbell, put it in our opposite pocket, 
and we're going to take it out of take it out from across your body and wield that sword two three four five good remember to focus on your breathing six seven eight nine and last one ten Whew, those are definitely a killer both dumbbells now both hands same thing as last time we're going to bend over face the floor and we're going to pull in just like so one two three four squeeze those shoulder blades in the back five six seven eight nine and ten very good so that's the end of the second round now we're going to get into the third round so the third round is all standing okay so now let's get started with round three this round we are going to be standing and if you need the added base of support please use a chair so for the first exercise we're going to do a side step and just to demonstrate before we get into it all you're going to do is step to the side you're going to find a comfortable distance and you're going to come back in just like so if you like an added challenge you could step to the side and do a mini squat and then come back in okay so to get started let's step to the side one bring it back in two bring it back in again you can use a chair if you need the added base of support okay that's four if you'd like the half squat in between you can do that too five six seven eight two more nine and ten okay that was a side lunge now we're going to do a reverse lunge same thing hand on the chair if you so need and we're going to bring the leg back and get into a reverse lunge just like so you know allow the knee to bend a little bit and we're going to come back in that's two three four five six remember to bring your attention to your breathing at all times seven eight nine last one ten now the last exercise in this round is called a crane lunge so my right side is closest to the chair so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the chair i'm going to bring my right leg back and then from here what you're going to do is get into a high knee just like so you're going to bring it down get into a high knee just like that okay and that's the opposite arm coming up as well okay that's four five six seven eight nine and ten very good that's round three now what we're going to do is start from the beginning of that round with the side lunge i'm going to do on the opposite side now because i started with the left side and we're going to do the same thing okay right leg to the side 
and bring it back in. Right leg to the side and bring it back in. Again, if you wanted the added challenge, you can step to the side and do a mini squat. Step to the side, do a mini squat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. That was the side step. Now we're gonna do reverse lunge, okay? Since we started with the right side before, we're gonna do our left side now. So that is the left leg back, then we come back in. Left leg back and come back in. Good. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Now for the last exercise in this round is the crane lunge. So we did the right side before, now we're gonna do the left side. Left arm holds onto the chair for stability, left leg gets back, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to bring it up like so. Bring it down. Two. Gonna breathe. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. That's the end of round three. Now what we're going to do is work on a little bit of abs. Okay. Now it's time for the last portion of the exercise class, the ab portion. I'm here at a firm surface. For you at home, this could be your bed, or if you so choose, you can do this on the floor with a yoga mat or maybe a soft rug. So all you're gonna do is lay on your back. And the first exercise we're gonna do are called reverse ab curls. You're gonna keep your abs engaged by pushing your lower back into the table into your bed, into the floor, bringing the knees up and bringing it down while controlling the movement. Just like so. You wanna make sure that you are not arching your lower back. You wanna make sure that the back is nice and flat. And if this is too much of a challenge, you can always do this with one leg. So here we go, we're gonna do 10 of these. And then start with one leg, with both legs up, bring it down, tap the table with the heels. One, two, remember to breathe as you're doing this. Three, four, bring it all the way up. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, 10. Okay, very good. Now the next exercise we're gonna do are called air bicycles. So they look like this. You're gonna bring both knees up, keeping the lower back nice and flat, keeping the abs engaged. You're going to push one leg out and then you're gonna alternate to the other side. Okay, each side is one. Now, if that's too much of a challenge for you, you can always do this with one leg down and do one leg at a time, just like so, okay? For the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you with both legs in the air. Okay, so now we're gonna start. Bring both knees up. You're gonna straighten your leg out. One, go to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Very good. So that was reverse ab curls we did, and then we just did air bicycles. So now we're gonna do both exercises again, and we're gonna wrap it up after that. Okay, so another 10 reverse ab curls. It'll bring both knees up into the air. Keep 90 degrees with your knees. Tap the table with your heels. One, two, remember to pace yourself. You don't wanna do this too quick or that defeats the purpose. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, remember to breathe, and 10. Very good, now we're gonna do the last exercise. Those are air bicycles. So we're gonna bring both knees up into the air and we're gonna extend one leg out and then alternate to the other side. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Whew. Okay, very good. That was strength and balance level one. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, after this video, I implore you to do some stretches to cool down, limber up, and give your muscles a rest. I'm Jonathan, exercise specialist here at the Burke Fitness Center. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.